Joe Hahn with DJ Aerotech. Uh, what I have in my hand here is a electrified version of our Chrysalis hand launch glider. We've been working on this thing for just about a year actually to tweak it and to find proper power combinations, prop motor and uh, batteries that work perfectly in the airplane. We finally got it. Uh, really proud of this thing. Uh, minor differences between this and the hand launch glider uh, would be uh, the wing construction. The main wing spar now contains uh, carbon strips and a balsa shear web between them that is laser cut, which eliminates a huge amount of the assembly work uh, compared to the old airplane. Uh, we were putting 132nd ply wire up balsa shear webs in between each rib, hand fitting them, and uh, hey, that's doable, but this is a lot faster. <laughs> also, you might be able to see the diagonal braces for just a little more torsional strength which is just an overall uh, good effect. I think with that with that addition there, this uh, wing can be covered with something other than a standard weight covering material. Lighter weight covering would, would do well on this wing. This happens to be transparent monocoat. Any of the monocoats are fine. I uh, just like the hand launch. Um, the power system I have in this airplane right here is the, we, we actually come up with several. The one in the airplane right now is what we consider our hottest one. One to get you to the most altitude the quickest. Um, it's a uh, it's a Supo or Cheetah, same basic uh, motor, uh, 2208-12 motor, um, combined with a three cell battery pack and a seven and a half by four folding propeller. Uh, that combination of bits uh, yields a really nice climb rate and a lot of flights up to altitude and a lot of soaring time, which is what I like. Um, so what I'm going to do is to take this thing out front here and, and give it a heave and I'm going to give it a full throttle climb out. And I'll probably count to about 10 or so, just kind of winging it here and uh, try to give you an estimate of the altitude. I've flown this with it with an ALES system in it before, so I have a fairly good idea of the actual altitude it's obtaining. So, so I'm going to walk out front here with this. Give it a heave into the wind, count to 10 and we'll see how high we get. 